Hi everyone, Vindicator Jones here. Hope you're all doing well in isolation and you and your family are keeping safe. As for me, I'm still not wearing any pants and proud of it. Anyway, moving on. Instead of jumping on the bandwagon and making a video about fleet carriers and uh, all talking about how horrible they are and how the world's gonna end, I thought I'd why not make a more positive video and take a look at what makes Elite Dangerous so much fun. And then I remembered an old video I made small ships and big bounties now a lot of people have made comments on this video in the last few years saying it is impossible to do that anymore with all the changes that have been made to the ai well i don't think it is impossible so i decided to ramp it up a little bit blow the space dust off my old viper and massage it a little bit with some engineering anyway I, this is what i've built i've put the links to the build down in the description below and i shall attempt to christen her in the fires of a Hazrez. Now, please note, you remember, it has been about a year since I've been playing Elite Dangerous, so, so my meager combat skills have kind of slightly tarnished. But hopefully that'll reinforce this video a little bit more, saying that pretty much if I can do it, anyone can do it. Just another quick note, I'm probably gonna edit this video up a bit because I don't wanna show combat with smaller ships. I really wanna focus on more larger targets. Anyway, enough of waffling on, let's take this into a has res and die. I mean, win. Okay, moving into this expert level. Flipper. Just moving into position, trying to get as close as I possibly can. Yep, turning me, that's all right. Should be able to hold my position here. Okay, didn't do what I thought he was gonna do. He's trying to get a turn around on me, but because I'm so close, the AI doesn't know which way to turn. So it's always really good to stay as close as you possibly can. Easy squeezy. Closing my distance on this clipper. I'm going to really just try, the closer I can stay to him, the less likely he is he's to turn around on me. Now he's going to probably do a boost or accelerate. No, he's trying to turn watching his thruster trails there to give me an idea of which way he's going he's boosted now i don't want normally i'll probably boost but because i've got engineered drag drives they tend to make me overshoot the target now so i've got to be a bit more careful with boost i'm just trying to hold my position there on the side of him so it's hard for him to turn but it's okay i've lost that Get a flight assist off, a lot of down thruster. Position myself back up and behind him. Really just trying to hold this position. Firing weapons is my secondary thought. Holding position is primary. Anyway, he's about to die. When you're up this close, chaff doesn't really matter. He can fire all the chaff all he wants. He still dies. And just trying to move himself into position right up close behind him. Just make sure I don't overshoot him. That's nice and close. Just bad. Plus two hard point locations on the Viper, but because they're right underneath it towards the back, but that's okay. Oh, okay, he's got turrets. Really got to try to keep my try to keep as close as I can. He's got lots of SCBs, I assume, but that's okay. Bit fire on him. Just really just got to keep focusing on my position, using my thrusters, watching his trails, trying to keep my nose up so my weapons will stay uh, keep fire. Look, I'm losing distance. Got to try to move in, otherwise he's going to turn on me. That's a down thruster. He's reversing. He's just about to out turn him. There we go. 
Should be able to squeeze him behind him now. Again, losing distance. That's the worst thing you can do. I've got a boost. Try to get, get myself behind him. I overshoot because a bit too much booster power. Just really got to uh, balance the boost. Otherwise, you will overshoot your target, especially with engineered in uh, drives. Anyway, he shall pop soon. Hopefully, we can find something a little bit more challenging. Okay, nice. Got a nice deadly leveled clipper here. Just really trying to get in position before I open fire. Okay, really try to hold this I'm in a perfect spot here, perfect distance. Watching his thrusters, make sure he doesn't boost. He's dropping SCBs, but that's okay. He's turning. His chaff really didn't do very much because I was close. Okay. Oh, just really trying to squeeze down behind the target with thrusters. Keeping my nose up, allowing me to move forwards and also to use vertical thrusters more effectively to get behind. Another thing you'll notice is that sometimes I I tap the thrusters, I don't keep them down. That's because if you hold down thrusters for too long, then you actually start losing forward momentum. Now, that's a mistake because you want to keep as close to your target as possible. Okay, I sort of lost that engagement a bit there. That's okay. Overshooting. Boosting, lifting up my nose to try to get behind him. There we go. Okay, get a bit closer. There we go, that's where I want to be. Using my thrusters to hold, really try to hold my position, self position. The shields will just come back up, that's okay. Really focus, tapping the down thruster, tap the down thruster. Yeah, turn me, that's okay. Here's a bit of flight assist stuff boost and hopefully be able to get behind him. Boost again, try to get close and anticipate the turn and mess that up completely. That's okay, my mistakes, learn from them. Okay, I've right, made a bit of a mess of this. It's okay, there we go, there's my chance, there's my opportunity, always look for the opportunity. And messed it up again. I really need to work on my pit management. For some reason, I'm wanted. I must have accidentally hit one of the other targets. Anyway, he's dead. Nice. Okay, here we go. An elite leveled python. This should be a nice test. I will have, he has the advantage of firepower, I have the advantage of maneuverability. So let's see if I can hold my position pretty well. Tapping my down thruster there, because I really want to try to move in close. I don't want to overuse the down thruster. He's using his SCBs, he's probably going to have a heap of, a little too close, I've overshot. And messed up that, okay, that I'm going to probably pay for. That I was being careless. I lost my dominant position, now I'm going to try and fight for it back. So I'll anticipate the turn. Get a thrust, down with uh, thruster. Sorry, boost, then down with thruster. Overshoot. Uh, that's a problem with engineer drives sometimes. You just overshoot too much. Okay, fly this stuff. Hit the boost if I can. Don't have a, uh, should have pips in the engines, it doesn't matter. We really want to try to get those shields down. I'll take the damage. Anticipate the turn. Mess that up. Okay, right, here we go. Should be able to get back now. Uh, down thrust as I boost. 
Well, I've just got to really make up that distance before he turns on me. That is going to turn on me. So we'll try that again. Anticipate the turn. Boost. Overshoot dramatically. That's a problem now with, with slower moving targets when you boost. So I'm going to try to do a bit earlier. Do the turn earlier. Get close. Boost again. Didn't work. So I'll do this the old fashioned way. Get it as close as I can. Hit the down thruster. Boost. Try to get behind him. Almost. Hit the thruster again. Come on. Oh god, to boost or not to boost. I'll boost. Body assist off turn. Pitch up. Hopefully boost again. That's it. Get the timing right. Well, sometimes it's just about the timing of the boost cycle. Okay. Okay, I'm moving back in. I'm working my way back in. Ah, I've lost it. Again. Try to do the early turn. At least I'm getting some fire on him. He hasn't really taken my shields down yet. Here we go. This is perfect. He's moving in slowly. This is what I wanted. Okay, I should be able to get behind him now. Yep, that's it. If you can, drag them back down to the asteroids. They have less maneuverability. This is exactly where I want to be. Uh, it's him and his SCBs. God damn it. That's okay. If I can hold my position, I'll be fine. Just got to maintain fire. Hold my position. Keep my. Got to try to keep my distance to him. Don't overshoot. He's boosted away, but I don't want to boost because I will overshoot him. Hoping I can get closer to him before he turns. Pull up. There we go. His shields are gone. Uh, he's gonna out turn me, but that's all right. Go around onto his side if I can. Harder for him to turn then. That nah, boost it. Boost. Down thruster. Light assist off pitch up. Boost. Could have anticipated that turn a bit better. Could have had pips in the engines, but. Uh, Okay. A fair bit of damage. Oops. Watch my trigger finger. Anticipate the turn. And that no, botched it. Totally botched that. You see, this is what happens when you haven't flown for a long time. Definitely don't want to ram him. Okay, I'm back where I started. <laughs> oh, well, at least he's lost a fair bit of his heart. That's the main thing. Okay, I'm going to really try to get, creep up to him and put some pips into shields because I don't want to lose my shields if I can avoid it. Yep, this is good. Just get closer, 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 closer. He's reversing. See the thruster trails there. Oh, I've got to put some pips into engines. I really need to my maneuverability and to boost. Oh, I should be able to hold this out and destroy him. That's okay. I'm just going to take the damage. Let my shields drop if they have to. Oops, all right, I completely messed that up. And overshot. Completely overshoot. Sometimes, duty drives aren't the best thing. Anyway, I've got him. That's all that matters. Ooh. Now that was fun. Okay, back. Just had to do a rearm and repair. 
and um, basically this is the first anaconda I've seen so definitely going to attack this guy this deadly level um, see how I go really oh great he's got turrets that's all I need okay try to stay behind him as much as I can and below him if I can Why it's hard of his turrets to hit me he's dropped chaff but that doesn't affect me because I'm really close just really mindful of trying to watch his thrusters because I don't want to overshoot him and there he's boosted so I've got to keep up with my throttle sometimes you get a bit blinded really focusing on keeping my position with thrusters ah oh dear I've lost okay lost my focus there a little bit that's all right he's gonna turn on me but I can should be able to move behind him hold my thruster there yeah his shields have gone down Okay, he's reversed turning on me, anticipate it and accidentally smashed into him. That's all I needed. Okay, I have lost every single bit of advantage I had then. I've got to now try to reposition myself. Actually, I'm surprised it didn't take much more damage. Jesus, I'm really not used to. This should be a video of what not to do. Okay. A focus here. See he's reversing, see his thrusters reverse. So I'll anticipate the turn and pull up and try to get behind him. There we go. Oh, overshoot. That's alright. That asteroid would have slowed him down a bit. He has to manoeuvre around it. I should be able to get close to him now. So he's reverse turning his thrusters there. But oh, he's went straight into an asteroid. His fields are back up, which sucks. But I did a fair bit of hull damage. Okay, just he's he's really trying to reverse turn on me he's using his thrusters to reverse and boost and then reverse see his thruster trails there always re reversing really see his thruster trails there you've got to remember a lot of combat is about anticipation not reaction that's something I'll probably be going through in a upcoming video series about combat discussing a lot about tactics about anticipation rather than reacting it's about thinking about what your target is about to do rather than just reacting to reacting to what it does that's extremely important sometimes you'll get it wrong that's part of life Fuck me, I get it wrong all the time. But when you get it right, boy, it doesn't feel good. Ooh, that's what happens when you don't focus enough. Okay. Get nice and close. He's trying to boost away from me. And then reverse turn, see the thruster trails, so he turns. That's okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. They overshot. Okay, he's almost going to die anyway. 
So I'll take a bit of damage. So I can get close to him without boosting. I uh, really hope he feels like come back up, which he probably will. Yes, that's okay. That's right. So his his thrusters kick in there trying to do a reverse turn. That's okay. That's what I wanted. Right behind him. He'll be able to take his shields down quite easily now. There we go. I'll take the frontal damage. Hold maintain fire. I could put pips into shields, but I'm not going to. I want the maneuverability and I want all my weapons. Because he's about to pop. I don't care about the heat. I want the target to poppeth. Almost. Oh. There he goes. Almost. Why won't you die? Ooh, that was close. You know, that was great fun. I actually kind of missed this. You guys should think about doing this too. It's a blast. Well, there you go. I have to say, I really had a good time doing this video. I thought it would be a bit more torturous, but it wasn't. I actually had a bit of a blast. Is the AI tougher? Yes, it is, without question. But it doesn't mean you can't have just as much fun. Now, yes, admittedly, this would be a bit harder to do in a stock Viper, but let's be honest about it. Engineering, a few weapons, a power distributor, and a power plant really doesn't take that much effort. So really, if you are going to be doing some bounty hunting, definitely probably engineer your Viper. What else can I say? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And please consider supporting me on Patreon. Even if it's just a dollar or two, that would be a big massive help. Especially during this time. Anyway, this is Vindicator Jones. Thank you for watching. Hope you all keep safe. And I shall see you out there in the big black.